Hi there, Capricorn. This is Kim with your reading, your tarot reading. I am a channel here if you have not been here before. If you're back, thank you so much. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. This reading is going to be checking the issue or the situation with the challenge and then the energies that surround you. Some reason my stomach like it got my muscles felt a little tense like I was holding my breath in a sense maybe there's excitement or anticipation okay that's the issue Sun in reverse. Tired. Tired. Need to rest and recharge our batteries. Popcorn. Decision. A stalemate. A block of some sort. It's not ever really a block, though. There's usually just something that we have to figure out. We feel like if the sun can come out for us, that there will be a peaceful resolution to an issue that's been a long-standing postponed decision. Tell me about the heart of the matter. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> Capricorn, you have the Wheel of Fortune here. And that's just beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune is bringing in good luck, fate, at, at your, you know, the energy at the root, at the core of you, the heart of you, um, the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck. Good luck. Tell me about the past. Okay, the Queen of Swords energy in reverse. Past energy is uh, all work, no play. And uh, it is you stepping away from the heart space and trying to use the, the mind. But the mind can't really logically uh, figure out why the heart feels the way that it does. So that's why that's kind of good to move on from that Queen of Swords energy and definitely just uh, get more connected to your heart space and feel okay it might be conditioning so I mean it might just be how we we're taught to look at emotions or view our emotions I have the king of pentacle energy so the king of pentacles energy is good energy I was going to put it up here but I think it's right here I think the challenge is maybe dealing with the Taurus or maybe dealing with somebody um Maybe about a commitment, how committed, shining the light on something, seeing how committed. It looks like it's mirroring or mirroring something. What's the present energy, the now moment? Wow, the nine of cups. So wish granted. It's um, having all that you really want and desire. And it is being mindful over the things that you can choose Making sure that you're not looking for instant gratification, but you're actually thinking, okay, how am I going to feel tomorrow or the next day? In fact, how would I feel two years from now if I do this thing right here? So choose wisely. Um, take care of yourself as best as you can. Drink water, exercise, eat as good as you can. Tell me about um, future energy. This is actually a good reading. Um, so future energy... Has us completely reinventing ourselves with the ten? Oh my goodness, completely reinventing ourselves, right? Wow, um, this devil energy is reversed. So you have broken the shackles of something that really binded you or made you feel bound or tied to either another person, situation, or maybe it was just feeling so tied down to to a feeling. You know, like I can't get away from this feeling. That might be you breaking the chains of that, too. So not letting this devil influence control you. That would probably be a wise thing. And I think that is dealing with your demons and letting them go. Tell me about the sun in reverse, because I think this is saying, hey, relax. Yeah, relax. Go inside. Think about the stuff that you have, but please don't miss this ace of cups coming at you from out of the thin blue air. There's even a, a dove with like a peace offering for you there. 
Um, you have to notice it, though. You have to notice it. So finding out what is it that we're in. This might be just some, um, some kind of... It, it, I was going to say it might be like a seasonal thing, but that doesn't make sense with the weather. It's feeling like we still are having some issues processing our emotions and thinking about them. So think if you're, you know, I hear the message like I'm sitting and thinking with myself. I just want to be like alone energy with this for you. Tell me about the devil in reverse. A higher fun. King of Swords. Two of Swords in the reverse. Now you have it in re reverse. You did have it in the upright. So there is something about moving past a block or past something that had us blocked. You figure this out when you go inside and also when you hold your head up high so that you don't miss this. There may be a decision being made at this time. People might have some sharp opinions, possibly. The King of Swords energy in the reverse is coming. Um, you know, away from this energy, this energy is almost like patronizing. You know what I mean? This is the energy of like, oh, so you're here. Are you doing, you know what I mean? So like, I don't think you're dealing with toxic people or situations like that anymore. Or if you are, you're going to know how to deal with it. The higher thing here is, is a wish granted regarding having something in a more traditional sense for you. The Knight of Pentacles bringing some steady income your way. And the Six of Pentacle energy, which is success. It is success. Um with maybe even with currency or the exchange, you know, I did, I said in another reading and I'll say in this one, it's good to open up to receiving all kinds of all kinds of abundance. Meaning if somebody is wanting to say a quick hello to you at a store and you don't know them by you receiving them, well, that is showing the universe you're so ready to keep on receiving more and it can come in the form of whatever might surprise you because the universe is full of surprises. But yeah, let's get some more clarifying on this King of Swords and the Devil in reverse. So you can know. I, I feel like if you just put your, your integrity first, your loyalty, your Knight of Pentacles, your, you know, you're going through this with some stamina, your persistence, it's, it's just it's really paid off. Okay. There it is, the devil in reverse again. That's what's making a new um, tide change for you, a turning of the tides, is this devil in reverse. You're letting go of these um, attachments to things that really, really don't serve you anymore. Or addictions, moving away from those. The Knight of Swords reverse is about needing to get focused. So what is it that you need to let go that's taking some of your focus from you? Is it because of this? Because if you're worried or wondering about reciprocity or about money or something, that is coming. That is a sure thing. Patience is a virtue here with this Knight of Pentacles. All together, those are seven pentacles. So patience and divine timing. And like I said, a wish granted regarding something that's being done in a traditional sense. It's going to bring some change with the Hierophant reinventing oneself and also crossroads, big crossroads, big decisions, maybe regarding um, a family situation or nostalgia or somebody, you know, dealing with children or looking back or thinking about memories. Ten of Swords Reverse is that rebirth. Yeah, okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Six of Cups. New opportunities in the family or with family networking and um, connection. Connections. Change that's coming. You have... A couple together here that feels like 
used to be friends, but right now I'm not talking like that. You have the whole family of swords out here. But still yet nothing is changing until these things are dealt with with this devil in reverse energy. All right, that's what I got for you, Capricorn. Sending you love and light. Hope you resonate with that. If you didn't, check out the next reading. There's always the next reading. Sending you love and light. You're appreciated. Bye-bye.